G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. As you can see, I'm back out on the track at the Chadora campsites or shelter on the Bibbleman track. I've come back out here again because uh, the last time I was out, so I was filming uh, the shelter to shelter walks. But walking from here into Dwelling Up, the weather wasn't that good. And I never got much chance to film it. So it's given me an excuse to come back out. So in the morning, because I'm stopping here at the shelter tonight, uh, in the morning, I'm gonna start filming when it starts to get light, or maybe just before, depends when I wake up. As any of you may know, have watched any of my videos before on a building on track, a lot of the time I'm up and out uh, before daylight. <coughs> Excuse me. But I think tomorrow, because it's getting light so early in the mornings, I'll probably leave about the same time, the five o'clock, when we should have light by then. And I'll take a nice gentle stroll back into Dwelling Up for the 20 plus kilometres. And probably call in the tavern, have a beer. I also wait for my pickup in the afternoon. So I'll see you in the morning. morning. It's 25 past 5 and a little bit of a lane today. A bit chilly. I think give it half hour and the jacket will be off. Okay we've got different measurements off different maps and books. Some say it's 19 point something kilometers, others say it's 20 point something kilometers. So I'm going to say from Chidora Good running up is 20-ish kilometers. Uh, looking forward to the day's walk. Actually, I'm just going to take my time. I won't be getting picked up until about two, three o'clock in dwelling up, so I might just head to the tavern. This section is fairly flat. So there's only a couple of small bits where you're walking beside the railway line later. Where they get slightly steep, but they're only just short little bursts. And the majority of it's gradual uphill and downhill. Okay, jackets off and hats on. I was getting way too warm with the jacket on, so I took that off. I've walked for another half hour or so, and my head's getting cold. So the hat's on ready for 
when or by the looks of it if the sun comes out. And I've got my head net on to stop the bugs getting near my face. That's uh, I haven't got it on, sorry, I've got it in my pocket ready to put on for when all the flies and mozzies decide to start attacking me again. But I've been walking now for yeah, just over an hour. And it's just beautiful out here listening to Mother Nature wake up and watching the kangaroos just hop across the track and disappear back out in the bush on the other side. Even though it's still cool out here, this is uh, always remember to drink water. Because even though the sun's not out and you don't feel hot and overheated, you are still using up your uh, body supply fluids with walking or hiking. So keep taking a good drink of your water. Walking early in the morning is beautiful, like I said earlier. You can hear the wildlife waking up and you see the roofs. But there's one thing you will be doing. You'll be clearing the track for everyone behind you of the cobwebs. So not only do you keep your head up for the wargles so you can see where you're going, you keep your head up to see for the cobwebs. Your wargles, which are your arrows for your direction for you to go. I just saw that one pointing straight up, so it means straight up the track. And if it's pointing left, you go left, and if it's pointing right, you go right. So, they're very important to keep an eye out for. I've said before in my videos, walking on the Bilberman track, the importance of keeping your head up, uh, how easy it is to have your head down looking at the ground, plodding along and missing your wargles and walking straight past the uh, track or the side track that you're supposed to be going down and you can go hours, hours if you're not looking in the wrong direction. So the importance is when you're hiking, walk with your head up shoulders back a bit, walk straight. Hello cockies. <laughs> yeah, head up, enjoy your view. That's what we're out here for, just to relax and enjoy. So if you've got a head up, just enjoying and watching where we're going, enjoying Mother Nature, seeing the cockies, and like I was watching the kangaroos earlier, the chance of you missing the wargle is reduced substantially. So there's a lot less chance of you going the wrong way and getting lost. Just made it to the Inglehope Road crossing. 
which is one of the access points for the Bibbulmun track. So you're roughly 8.6 to 9 kilometers away from Chadora at this point. And it's been a nice walk so far. So what we've got 11 point something 12 kilometers going that way. Well, let's get going. Now this section going into dwelling up along the railway line we'll be spending times beside the railway line and going up to a four wheel drive track and back down to the railway line through the scrub and back up to the track and back down and back up winding in and out will be this side of Inglehope Road the dwelling up side there's a lot of uh, properties either side of the railway so we'll be walking alongside them too and when I did this section first time yeah the first time a lovely summer's day it was and the actual train was running and it gave us a toot and everybody on the train were waving and it's just Lovely experience. Okay, the flies have started coming out again. So on with the bug net. Now these bug nets are well worth it. I think I said it earlier in the video. They are well worth the investment. You can get the normal ones. Where it's just the uh, the net, or you can pay a little more, bit more, and get the ones with the permethrin impregnated into it. So that helps you reduce the majority of the mozzies and the flies actually coming anywhere near you. And those that do get near, don't stay long. This section, not this little bit I'm on now, this is quite clear, but a bit I've just been through, and if I remember, if they haven't cut it back a little bit further up, a lot of the actual scrub is overgrown, so you are going to be a bit of bush bashing, uh, pushing the, plant, uh, the bushes out of the way and everything, and stepping over the odd log here and there. It's still very pleasant, beautiful track it is. We've made it to Edmelin train station and this is roughly the halfway point between Chadora and dwelling up. And just over there, I think there's a two kilometer walk, circle walk. They have truck toilet down that end. 
and I think we've got picnic benches I know there's some there there may be some more up in here it's going to have a lot see if we can see any see any over by the toilets which I suppose is a good idea but we've got some here the opposite end oh, found a stick and these steps are the ones used for getting people in and out of the train when it comes down here no, I'm gonna sit down on one of these and I'm going to have a cup of tea and I'm going to have something to eat it looks like we've had some people here who shouldn't have been up here this is a small firing there which is to my knowledge not allowed ok let's sit on this one If you're interested in the e railway, I'll put a link down below to the website which will tell you the history of it and the tourist side of it. This is a road that you walk along a lot uh, from Ingle Hope into Dwelling Up and every now and then you'll shoot off and go through the, the scrub down beside the railway line and then you'll come back up onto here and then you'll go off again and then you come back up onto here and then you'll go off it and then go into Dwelling Up A little bit hard on the feet, this hard ground, but this is a little bit of shade and we can see where we're going. As you can see, it is a little bit overgrown. We're going to be doing a bit of docking and a bit of docking. One thing I am glad of doing is taking my time on this section. The last couple of times I've done it, I've just gone through, done what I had to do, get from A to B sort of thing. Uh, the time before I tried to make this video, but the storm was coming in and it was not impossible to do any filming. So this time I've taken my time, I've noticed a lot more a lot more things to look at so if you're thinking of doing this section and you're not in a hurry 
it's worth it. Just, just take your time and have a look and stop along the way. I've taken short clips of videos of different things I hadn't noticed before and also some just to show what is here to encourage you to come out and actually have a look for yourself because it is it's just beautiful out here it just get away from the nine to five rushing around and just come out here take a break put your feet up whenever you want just enjoy the beautiful view and this behind me they keep doing a runner before I get my camera out but I've seen a few kangaroos and this bit here where they've done a controlled burn so if I had a battery that I'd last 10 or 12 hours I'd leave my camera on all the time so I can catch more shots like that I think I may have caught him and I just did a, a clip of this further back but he went so quick I don't know let's hope I have even having to walk on this hard ground and going into that scrub bit and having to duck down and push stuff out of the way and climb over stuff it's still a beautiful section so right now I'm looking down so if you can see it the railway lines down there and this bit on this track is where you are walking up and down up and down a bit not too bad it's the only hilly bit that's going to get your heartbeat going a bit more but it's worth it but it's not as bad as some of the hills further back on the track getting closer to Kalamunda and it's definitely not Mount Wells so don't worry about it I just can't amaze what I missed by rushing the last couple of times it's just trees have a look up there it's just they're just fantastic aren't they they go on and on and on all the way to the sky and you look at them from the bottom they don't look like they're alive some of them and then you get your head up there and the canopy is all green and the branches and leaves it's just beautiful up there There's your people doing it the easy way on the train. A bit squeaky this year. I just arrived in Twellingup. Uh, what's this? About half an hour earlier than I expected. So I'm just going to walk down to the new visitor centre. They've uh, just finished a few weeks ago here in Twellingup. Signing the logbook for the Wilmington Trek. And now I'm going to head over to Green to the tavern and get a small meal and a couple of beers while I wait for my lift. Let's take this up for you, be polite. Ah, there we go. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, and you haven't already subscribed, 
please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it and click on all and then please click the like button and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care